this tells me that the work we've been doing is perfect. Who is in charge of the, who prepares the, the workouts? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, the coach, we have two coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, one coach is Patrick Sang. Patrick Sang, sure. Coach, um, sure. And Bridget Metro. And who's the other one? Richard Metro. Richard. R Richard Cometo? Yeah, Richard Metro. Metro. Spell? Metro is uh, M E T O. Metro. But Patrick is the main coach. Yes. Yeah. Very good coach. Thank you. How, what is your height and weight right now, Stephen? How tall are you? Uh, my my height is the same as before. My weight has reduced a little bit. It's so, a little less. Yeah. Yeah, so what is your, like how many kilos? 52, 53. Huh? 53? 52, 53. 52, 53. Yeah. Um, and how was it, when you say reduced from what? It was reduced from 56. Really? Yeah. From when was 56? 56, 56 when you won the Olympics? 56, no, when I won the Olympics was 54. Okay. 54 yeah, when? I maintained 54 for three years, but it, uh, originally it was 56, then it keeps on using. I think the, the work is becoming too much. When you won the world championships, what did you weigh? I was 54. 50, so 54 for the I Olympics and the world champs? Yes. And you're a little lighter now? Yeah. I'm okay. And how tall are you? I'm 5.7. 5.7 five, inches? You look taller <laughs> sitting down. Lean. You do. You look like you're about 5'11". Now the conditions will be similar to last year. Maybe a little bit colder and a headwind. Um, are those conditions, in other words, this is not a 203 course, not 203 conditions, not 204 conditions, but the Olympics and World Championships, go watch, just race. Do you like, do you prefer races that are non, no pace? Yeah, yeah, I prefer races that are no, no paces, but there are some other competitions where you can you can't, you can't, you can't do without the pacemakers. Mm -hmm. But for me, I like races without uh, without pacemakers. Without pacemakers. Huh? Well, you've run very well without pacemakers. Just Olympics, pure. World Championships, pure things like that. You've done well without it. What is your motivation this year? What is really in your heart? Yeah, uh, if the competition if it goes well, uh, my Two oh seven. Well, that's. But now you have said the con the conditions are unfavorable, so right. I hope for the best results. Do you feel better prepared, more rested than last year because you didn't run the world championships before? Yeah, I've uh, said that earlier on. I look more comfortable than last year. Mm. Are you married, Stephen? Yes. Children? <laughs> How many? I have three. How old? How old? Six. Th three children? Yes, uh, six, three, and one and a half. And one and a half? Yes. And one? One and a half. And boy, girl, how? Two girls, one boy. Girl, girl, boy? Yeah, girl, boy, girl. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you, you, go ahead. What did you learn from your race last year in New York? Uh, I learned so many things. In, first of all, the weather. So the weather, yeah. The weather and the course itself. It's up and down here. So I'm aware. I'm aware about the course. Difficult course or good course? Or both? <laughs> it could be a good course for some people, right? Yeah, it is you know there is no any other there is no any course with famous good people. Maybe difficult for me, maybe good for other people, but I call it it's a, it's a medium course. Down. But you train up and down, obviously. Yeah, What's I, camp? I What's train, but. Huh? Go ahead, you train, but. I train from Kenya, Eldoret in Kenya. Eldoret? Yeah. And how often do you go home to Uganda? Uh, sometimes on the weekends. How far is home from Eldoret? It's about a five hour drive. Five hour drive? Yeah. To the Ugandan border, are you, are you're very close to the Ugandan border. Yes. So you're a Kalenjin tribe. Yes. So same people, yes. cousins, same people. right? Same people. Same Just people. you didn't draw the border. Somebody else drew the border, <laughs> right? Somebody else said this is Uganda and this is Kenya. Right. It didn't make any difference to you, Stephen. Um, there's several ways I hear people say your last name. Why don't you say it the way you would like us to pronounce it?
your last name? Front end. I don't know the actual. Name. Say it again. Kip Rotich. Okay. So the O is emphasized a little bit. That's that's the right Kip Rotich. Yeah. How do you are you intimidated at all by what Jeff Joffrey Mutai and what Wilson Kipsang have done? What do are you excited to race them? Uh, for me, I'm happy to. I'm always happy to run uh, a tough competition, a stiff competition, and make the best. The athletes who have run faster, who are the famous athletes. So I, I like it. You like the competition? Yes. yes.